Hey guys, back again. So let's talk about Spiral from the Book of Saw, which I watched, I'd say a week or a week and a half ago, whenever it was initially released. And uh, I just uh, had a lot of stuff that I just couldn't couldn't let me review. So I've just had a lot of reviews in the back burner that have been releasing throughout these past couple weeks. But this these last couple weeks have just been a weird, it's been a weird time for me. So I'm just trying to get over it. But uh, I watched Spiral from the Book of Saw in the theater, like I said, right whenever it came out. Um, I'm a fan of the Saw franchise. I think that they're fun. I really, really love uh, the first two um, and six and seven. Um, the other ones kind of just go all around like in terms of like quality or entertainment for me, like I can watch every one of them, but there are some that I really like more than others. And um, so I was excited for Spiral. I was, I was actually excited. I thought that it looked fun. Um, the idea of bringing in Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson in there in the ninth Saw movie, I thought was, was cool because it gave it more credibility than you'd expect from these movies, because usually it's not that case where you get a bigger actor or set of actors later in these films because usually the more these franchises go the less money they make and it's more of just same old same old and i did like seeing them and bringing them into this movie because it wasn't something i expected um initially because jigsaw which was the last movie um which was again really similar to this was a reboot it uh didn't have any big name actors really it just had a lot of tv actors and it looked like a tv movie a lot of the time uh jigsaw um the biggest thing I can give this, give, uh, give Spiral from the Book of Saw, the biggest compliment I can give this is Samuel L. Jackson and Chris Rock. They're great in the movie. They're funny. They're entertaining. They're good. I like seeing them in this, in this franchise. Uh, the movie looks good. It's one of the best looking Saw movies in a while because, uh, most of the Saw movies are low budget or tried to be low budget. And this one, it really felt like it had a little more credibility in like the department of just how it looked. Like I said, with Jigsaw, that one looked a lot like a TV movie in some ways and all the other movies are low budget, but sometimes they, they can work that out and make them look good. Um, but this one I think is by and large might be one of the best looking Saw movies. Um, I know the original one, is very low budget. It was the most low budget I think out of all of them, but it looked really good for what it got. And I and I love horror that can do that with low budgets. Um, so I typically like whenever these franchises keep going, but they add a little bit of flair to them. Like I said, with the with the two new actors in this one and how the movie looks. But honestly, overall, this one is one of my least favorites. I'm gonna say it right now. I didn't love Spiral. I thought that. Despite having some good leads in it, and it looked good, it really just didn't do much for me. It felt so much like it's conflicted, like it's trying to be something new. Um, the trailer really felt like it was trying to be a little bit something new. But then it's just another Saw movie, but it's, again, it's just another one with a with the idea of the of somebody going along with a new Jigsaw slash John Kramer like persona, like another person is doing um, these traps again. Um, and it's just another one, it's just like Jigsaw where that movie did the same thing, but with Jigsaw at least it was like an accomplice of, of, of uh, John Kramer. In this one, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's really self-contained on its own, but it tries to be a part of the universe where it doesn't connect to the universe really besides little nods of like that it is that all the stuff in the other movies have happened but it's not trying to be a movie that is like anything new um despite feeling like it almost did with the trailer but i really didn't think that this one did much for me um i think it has the weakest traps i think out of all of them and i think that some of them are just downright like how would you even try to survive this kind of thing? Like some of the saw traps in the other movies, it's like, sometimes you can survive these. Um, most people don't because of course it's a horror movie, but this one is just so ridiculous with like, it's ridiculous to a point where it's not as fun. I didn't think like the first, the first trap in this movie is where a guy is this freaking tongue hooked on something on a hook up in the air and he's on a, 
stool down in a train uh, tunnel, and a train's going to come at him, and the TV guy says, uh, like Jigsaw said in the other movies, this, this new guy says on the TV with the pig mask, you got to jump with your, or uh, you got to take a leap of faith and lose your tongue, and you'll survive. And then he tries the jump, and of course, doesn't work well. It was a really... It was really just a trap that was not set up where you could survive it. And I know that most of these movies, they don't survive these. It's That's the point. It's supposed to be about the gore factor and the torture porn aspect of it. But it just, it felt ridiculous. And like I said, I think the traps are the weakest overall. Like, some of the weakest overall. Like, actually, like for the most part, I think Jigsaw had some weak ones too. Like, I remember in Jigsaw, they were like in a grain silo. And all it was was just like this tube was thrown out like a knife or a buzzsaw on these people that are trapped in like sand and and stuff like that like the last two movies are very similar this and jigsaw they both tried to reboot the franchise but to me personally it just it this one and jigsaw never really went the route where i was like yes i want more i want more of this franchise because this franchise um even though i do enjoy most of these movies i feel like there's just I don't know what to do with, with how they should keep going with this. It feels like there's not there's not enough substance, even though they brought in some credibility, like I said, with Chris Rock and Sam Jackson, and the movie looks good. The movie does look really good. Uh, the movie's brutal, but it just, it's honestly the most, one of the most forgettable ones for me personally out of the whole franchise. Like, it's not, and maybe if I watch it again, I might feel a little bit differently, but this one is just... It's just not that special. Like, it's really forgettable, like, overall. And it felt like that with Jigsaw, too. But Jigsaw, I think, was a little bit more over the top. And I know I just said, like, this one's over the top, too. But I thought that Jigsaw, like, it at least connected more to the universe than this one. And this one is just kind of on its own. But it tries to be so much in the universe, if that makes sense. It's a very conflicting movie. Um, And again, no spoilers, but... I thought that the twist at the end of this movie was probably the lamest out of all of them, out of all the movies. Um, I thought this was probably the lamest. Like, I actually like the twist in Jigsaw, as dumb as it was, but this one is just, it didn't do much for me at all. I was like, really? That's where you're going? Like, it was so obvious. And with the other Saw movies, when there's the ending music, and this one does the same thing at the end, there's the music, the song music, which is awesome. I love that music. That score is incredible, though. Still, I still love to hear that score, even if it's a twist I didn't like that much. But the uh, the ending does the same thing the other Saw movies does with a twist or something like that. But it just, it never felt like something that I really was fully interested in throughout. I thought that the movie was really just whatever. It felt like it was trying to be like it's weird it's trying to be a detective story um which the other movies do but but less on the traps which is so weird because this one with all the saw movies the first one is just about these two people in the bathroom uh carrie always um um and i don't know why i'm blanking on his name director of upgrade invisible man lee winnell um it had lee winnell and carrie always in the bathroom and they had to figure out how to get out and uh you see people in traps in that movie, but it's not about that. And then as the Saw movies go along, it's about the traps. And this one is really, it's weird because this one is trying to be a, a mix in between where the traps are, they're trying to have less traps in this movie than the other movies. And it's, and it's more of a detective story or a cop story where you focus more on the cops, you focus more on these characters but it's weird, it made it for, more forgettable. Like, it felt like a really kind of lame police procedural with some good moments with the with Chris Rock and Sam Jackson, but it just, it felt like it was just kind of a lame police procedural, and then randomly it felt like a Saw movie, sometimes with the traps, but the traps were, I think, some of the weakest overall. And it's not to disrespect Darren Lynn Bousman, who directed uh, Saw 2, 3, and 4, at all. I don't want to disrespect anybody who made this movie, it's just how I feel about it. I didn't love the movie, but... Um, also, it's hard to, like, say with a ninth Saw movie, like, how do you keep making these brutal traps and make them good or that interesting? And this one just did not fall into the interesting category. Like I said, uh, I thought the traps were pretty weak. I thought the story is pretty, 
police procedural, but not very entertaining, except for a few instances with the actors. Um, the twist, I thought, was just so lame, and I thought that it was, again, without spoiling it, it connects to modern day, because it's about cops, it, it does have some modern day parallels in a way, this isn't a spoiler, but, but, you know, crooked cops, there's always crooked cops in the world. It's kind of like that. It's that kind of thing in the movie. And, and I'm not, um, not against that because there are crooked cops in the world. Of course there are, um, like anybody there's crooked in every, in every sort of person. Um, but I just, I, I thought that that story was just really not that great. It was just whatever. Um, like I said, just, there's really, I like on Letterboxd, I rated this like two and a half out of five stars. Like it's not unwatchable at all. Like I thought it was totally serviceable, but it was just really forgettable. Like it was not that interesting really. Like, like I said, it had some good credibility into the movie as opposed to Jigsaw, but I think I like Jigsaw a little more for being more over the top. Um, even though some of the traps are lamer in that one. But in terms of the Saw franchise, this is definitely one of the weakest in my opinion but that's not saying it's terrible like I didn't think it was awful I just thought it was just really middle of the road um torture porn like saw movie like it didn't do anything special and and again it's just every film in this franchise as it started to be rebooted um rebooted because it's still in the same universe but every time it's made a new we've made a new saw movie in the past couple of years it's just kind of forgettable and that's such a shame because I love the first seven, like the story arc and like with all these characters and how they keep going. I think that's awesome, but it just, it feels like there's just nothing really to keep going on. And maybe if, correct me wrong, maybe with the next one, cause this movie does end like there's going to be another one. That's a, I guess a slight spoiler, but um, really it's just whatever. It wasn't that special of a movie. So um, didn't love it, didn't hate it, just middle of the road, one of the weakest Saw movies for me. Um, still, it's, it's, it's a fine movie, like, it's not anything terrible, it's just, it's just not anything special. So, that's pretty much all I could say about, uh, Spiral from the Book of Saw, another Saw reboot that just didn't do it that much for me. Um, but that's it, um, I've got more reviews coming up since, again, like I said, I was sick and I've, haven't been able to do any, any reviews, but I watched all the most recent movies in the theater, so stay tuned for those reviews. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.